Here. We can't really hear you. Could have, you, could you we speak don't into have a mic? tear up the floors or the walls. It's, it's pretty awesome new technology. Okay. Fantastic. If you could bring us, yeah. yeah. If you could bring us that. No, yeah. Great. All right. Thanks, sir. Uh, so, hearing no objection, it's approved. The next item. The next item is uh, O1L mold damage. Dan, you yes, this, this apartment had mold damage, which was due to a uh, problem that the association is responsible uh, for. The uh, owner went ahead on his own and brought in a remediation company uh, to do the mold remediation and to replace the drywall. Uh, they gave him an estimate on just replacing the drywall of $17,890, uh, which obviously we, we said was ridiculous. Uh, I spoke with George. George said he knew of a company. Uh, the company is uh, Top Rock Construction. Uh, they came in and looked at it, and they said that they would do the work for $2,300. Uh, I saw pictures uh, of the damage. It was very, very extensive, but I I'm, think that this uh, ASP Restore, Restoration Corporation certainly milked this. Uh, so we, we went ahead and told uh, Top Rock to go ahead and do the work. Uh, so instead of charging $17,000, we had the job done for 2000 So just uh, to clarify, th this is a, an association responsibility because we were responsible for the drywall and uh, for the drywall and, and what else? And the, and the mold, but they had uh, taken care of that already. So this was really just a mold, uh, uh, excuse me, was a drywall uh, replacement drywall. issue. Okay. What Do you know why this happened? <coughs> George, you know what happened with that? Was, uh, roof leak how, how did it get all the way down to the first floor? This is one now. Yeah, I know, but you know, <laughs> water, water goes where it wants to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, so um, it was our responsibility to replace the drywall, and I guess that's what happened. So do we have a motion to approve top of rock uh, $2,300 in drywall replacement? by top of rock construction for the repairs mentioned. Um, is there a motion? Yeah, I'll do the motion. Rock made the motion. Is there a second? Yeah, i Rabbit seconded. Any discussion? And, uh, we have a question from the membership about this. I had um, a neighbor up on the third floor where their toilet exploded and it came right through to my apartment. And I've got mold in one of my closets. Who's responsible for those repairs? If it, if it was a maintenance issue with the, with the person, the uh, upstairs neighbor's toilet, then that would probably go on them. Uh, in this case, we were told it's the roof, so we are responsible for the roof. If it was a toilet, then um, I would think that, that we could go after that job. George says he's, it's my responsibility. No, right. Did you pay for it? That's not right. I didn't, the neighbor upstairs telling me that I'm responsible for the insurance. No, no, no. I think in cases like that, uh, the, the drywall would, would be replaced, I believe, at the association's expense and it would probably be back charged to whoever we found responsible. In this case, if it was the upstairs neighbor, that would be back charged to the association, um, to the, I'm sorry, to the upstairs neighbor. And I believe that's been done before. And it's also been destroyed stuff in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, that's how we would do it. Well, but please follow up with the manager on that. Yeah, come, come to the office to that. Yeah, come to the office. Uh, so we, the, the motion has been made and seconded um, on the mold repair. <coughs> Excuse me, drywall repair uh, replacement. Is there any objection? Hearing none, it's approved. Next item, Nottingham carpet renovations. Dan. Okay, as I said in my uh, manager's report, uh, last year 
the board had uh, appropriated $90,000 for renovations for three buildings uh, at 30,000 30, per building. Um, for Zurich, they, they came in basically right on, on scale. Uh, same thing with Heidelberg. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, the Nottingham wasn't uh, addressed last year and uh, they now have, uh, we're not getting around to where we were getting ready to put the, uh, the carpet in. I called the same company that uh, put the carpet in for the other two buildings. Uh, the cost of the carpeting has slightly risen. Um, and initially they had, uh, because the Nottingham uh, had stairs that are carpeted also, and so he gave me a, uh, a price for the, uh, the entire carpet, which was going to go over budget by $762. Uh, I spoke with uh, the committee there, and they said, well, we don't want the stairs carpeted. So I went back to them and had them uh, refigure the uh, estimate for the carpet. Uh, the estimate for the carpet for that building has now come out to be uh, $28,639.50. Uh, that only leaves about $2,000 for any additional uh, renovations that are uh, asked for in that, that building. Um, the committee has, has expressed that they do have other items that they want to have done in the building uh, but being is that they were only approved for thirty thousand dollars, I, I said I would have to come back to the board and ask if the board will approve those additional expenditures. I don't have that number yet, what, what, because I only spoke with them a couple of days ago uh, to find out exactly what they want, so we can get the estimate and find out how much more uh, it's going to be over that thirty thousand. But I wanted, I, I told them that I would bring it up to the board so at least we could have some discussion on it. Okay, um, but today we have to approve the, the carpeting, correct? Yes. It's a total of 28639 is that correct? Yes. Six, yes. 28639 Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. yes. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. And this is the same type of carpet that was uh, used in Missouri? Yes, the same, exactly the same carpet. But the same price, color and everything. Right, right, but the price is going up uh, price. since last year. What was the price last year? Last year they did the uh, they did the whole building in the Zurich for about 24000 so it's going up by about $4,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, let, let's uh, I guess approve this and then um, find out what what other things need to be renovated in the building, and uh, we'll see if um, you know. Since we're getting forty thousand extra dollars next month, maybe we'll have it. Good question. Yes. Uh, the, this, this type of carpet, which was picked by their committee, does not get padding. It gets. Um, let, let me ask. Uh, we we do have a committee member in the back, um, because I think there there was another building where the committee picked the carpet, but not being carpet experts, they didn't know from you know padding, no padding, etc. Uh, is that something that the committee now, now that we're aware that there's no pad, could be no padding under the carpet with this particular type of carpet? Would that affect your? Jeremy, you said last week that our, no, can we get our, our, sorry, you said last week that our carpet actually did have the padding. Your your current carpet has padding under. The type that you chose does not get. Can. No, the, the estimate is for the uh, removal of the uh, old bedding. Removal and, and disposal of old rubber backing carpet. So which carpet has padding? Oh, now, you would, 
you would have to pick a totally different carpet. Well, no. Are we having are we having problems with that carpet in the Zurich? Except the Zurich is the same type of carpet. Correct? I have not heard any problems from the Zurich about the carpet or from whoever problem with uh, the other the other buildings. I understand there is a problem, and I've spoken to the carpet company about it, and they said there's only one way to fix it. They have to slice that carpet all the way down the hall, up the middle, and then try to pull it in, into the center because it's glued, it's, it can't be kicked like normal carpet you would have in your apartment. So that's the only way that they can try to take those buckles out of it. Okay. I mean, um, I fell last time and didn't do anything, but it's, I mean, it's really horrible. And he said they're gonna try but, I mean, come on, we've got to do something about it. It's horrible. Okay. Um, Isn't there a warranty on that carpet? Yeah. For the installer? I don't know when the, the Edelweiss carpet was The Edelweiss put carpet was like back in 2010 or something. It was quite a while ago. I, I the, the Marseille has a big um, buckle in the middle, too, all the way down. That was the same year, I believe. If we around the same. There should be some liability um, for the Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, we have, we have a question over here, and then I'm going to ask the answer. Yes. I don't know much about carpet. I've owned in the Grenoble for five years now. We were one of the last to get upgraded. I would assume it's to my understanding. If there's no padding, there will be more of a chance to have upgrading or renovation within the near future. Padding is not that expensive. Trust me. I don't know much, but it's, it's padding. It's, why wouldn't we just do padding and just get it done? So Otherwise, you face, a, you face a, a, a problem way sooner. And that's more money. But, you know, um, um, I'm not comfortable with this right now. I think maybe we need to discuss this more with the committee and bring it back next month. Other options, uh, if padding, padding is a concern for the committee and the building. Um, how about we table this for now? and then try to bring it back at the next meeting. Do we have a motion to table it? One, one recommendation, John. Yes. If there is buckling in other buildings, mm -hmm. that presents a liability for the association, a uh, slip and fall liability for the association. That needs to be addressed to the suite. Can you check another company for a copy? Yeah, we're, we're going to do all that stuff. Should, should the installers have some you know, liability or Warranty or you know, <laughs> yeah, we're going to look into that too. Obviously, in terms of approving any work, that there should be some kind of uh, guarantee or, or warranty on it. Uh, so, the motion was made by Rabbit to table. Is there a second to table? Or on seconds? Any objection? Hearing none. It's tabled. Next item is uh, the clubhouse renovations. Dan. Uh, this was something that Rabin and I had been talking about. There's a lot of things that need to be done uh, as far as perking up the, uh, the, the clubhouse. Uh, we went, we've gone around, we've looked at a lot of things. Uh, this is really something that maintenance needs to get on with. Uh, there's nothing here that I, I think needs to be uh, done from an outside corporation. But this is something, you know, that we have to make sure that the, the people that are uh, doing the work for maintenance are qualified for what they're doing and that it's not just uh, a, a quick and dirty job just to patch it over and, and go running, running away. So uh, there wasn't any actual um, decisions and say, well, we need to buy this, we need to buy that. Uh, it was more, I think, in the way of uh, just wanting to bring it out that uh, it needs to be painted on the outside. Uh, things There are things that need to be repaired. And uh, the thing like the fence has been taking like a ridiculous amount of time to get completed. I think we're into our eighth week now on trying to get that fence completed. Um, and then they're going to start on the other fence, on the other end of the, uh, the clubhouse. So that, I, I think that's what we were really uh, shooting at when we talked about renovation, that 
we need to make sure that these are, are being done in a timely fashion. Can we just find out what that list is? What's on the list of items? Just, just a minute. I'm sorry, I should wait. Uh, yeah, I, I think we do have to get some outside people in here. Uh, one of the issues that Dan failed to mention is uh, the dance floor. The dance floor, I think we have to do something with that dance floor. And uh, maybe we get some uh, flooring companies in here to make some uh, suggestions. But the, the dance floor is ridiculous. Uh, the furniture also needs recovered, and uh, our people can't do that. Uh, I, I think we have to look at bringing somebody in to recover the, the couches. They're in terrible shape, uh, along with the regular maintenance painting and stuff. Thank you. Uh, so, Robert, are you suggesting um, hire, hiring a company to do some of this work? <coughs> well, I, I do believe that we have to bring some outside people in here because I'm sure our people can can't reupholster the, uh, the couches, and I'm uh, quite skeptical on the dance floor if they're capable of fixing that. So I, I think we do have to look at outside concerns for those two issues. Okay, so, um, yes. What about, what about the roof? I go to the pool regularly, and when I look up at the peak of the roof, there's a big open spot. I'm assuming that if it's not taken care of that it's probably harming underneath that uh, top layer. I don't understand why that's not taken care of immediately. I, I just sent today an email to the board, uh, an estimate that I received about having the, uh, the roof uh, repaired uh, for the clubhouse. Uh, it was I just received, so it wasn't, wasn't put onto the agenda, but uh, yeah, I'm as I say, I just sent it to all the board members with a copy of the estimate to have the work done. Uh, we have a question. Marcy, uh, and then Are we getting three estimates? Are we getting three estimates uh, to take care of that? We need to have three. I, I mean, I will get three estimates, but you're not really required to do that. Well, I think that if we're going to have something done, I mean, we want to see the different figures. Also, on the outside, when you walk out the uh, clubhouse, I mean, the wood is horrible. I mean, it's peeling. It's, it's, it's really disgraceful. I mean, if we want to get people in here, they look at that and say, what the heck is going on? Yes, Marcy, I brought that up several times. Nothing seems to be getting done, and, and I'm getting frustrated to be uh, truthful about it. Uh, but uh, I, I do think that there's a lot of work being done here, and it's uh, getting bypassed. And we're going we're to have to put time frames on, on this because it's the same thing over and over and over again. It doesn't get done, it doesn't get done, it doesn't get done. Well, it's going to have to get done. John, he goes out of his way to find out what's going on and that needs, you know, fixing, and yet nothing is getting done, and it's frustrating for him. I mean, you asked him to take care of these things, and why isn't it getting done? So uh, on this particular item, I'm not sure if we need a motion or if we can just have just Rabbit, uh, you know, direct the effort of renovations, work with Dan, work with George, maybe investigate some companies that you want to recommend. Well, personally, I, I don't feel it's my job to bring uh, flooring companies in here to look at the dance floor, or is it my job to bring uh, people in here to look at uh, reupholstering furniture. I brought up what needs a lot of the things that need done here, and I brought this up in October, and, and they're still not done. Uh, I have work orders here from October for stuff in this in this clubhouse, and I, I keep getting ignored. So we're gonna have to put dates on. Uh, George is gonna have to put a date on, and we're gonna have to live with it. And, and Dan's right, this is week number eight on that fence. You know, we got to finish this up and get on to other stuff. We got a lot of work to do here, and we're just wasting time. What about the back fence? What about the back wall? Yeah, we'll um, so, how about we have a motion to um, instruct Dan to come back with bids on the tile, as well as the uh, furniture reupholstering, and uh, as far as the other stuff, maintenance. Just please work to make sure that the, the list gets done that uh, Rabbit provided. 
Uh, we need a motion now, and then I'll go back to the uh, membership. But let's have a motion that by, by next okay. meeting we have bids on both these projects that um, need to be bidded out. Uh, since Rabbit is saying he doesn't feel that the um, our in-house maintenance can handle the cancel transport. So uh, you want you want that? Is that is that a good one? Yeah. Okay. So Rabbit, do you want to make that motion? So the motion has been made. Is there a second? Yeah. Morak seconds it. Again, that's to um, seek bids on the furniture reupholstering as well as dance floor replacement or uh, repair. We have a few questions that go left to right. Miriam. things that we can do in-house, let's see what we can do. I think we should do it methodically, the way Bob had said, that it's management's job to look at these projects, whether it's painting here, doing all the things that, that theoretically we can do in-house, it has to be assessed. It will take these many man hours. These are the, these are the people who can do it, how can it be added to their schedule? Uh, with the with the with the, the elimination of overtime and and all the stuff that already needs to get done, I would like to see how all these extra jobs, these additional jobs, how they can be allocated within budget. But that's a management job, and management should be instructed to look at all these things and prepare the dollars. Of course, with law and system. Very good. Yes. As Rabbit mentioned earlier, I was at a meeting, and as he stated earlier, he's mentioned a few things that he feels that they've been bypassed. And I guess the question is, because we all see the same things, there has to be some sense of accountability. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know who's accountable for it. Maintenance, management, board. President. But it needs to be done. So where's the accountability? Stand? That's my question. When you have Bozeman and wife uh, and the management, what accountability you need? OK, please no, no shout out. Yes. When you have Bozeman and wife and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, right now we have to There's no accountability. Maybe. Shoot. Yeah. I'm like sorry, just please. To put at the top well, my answer was, I'm sorry, wait, 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 hold on a second. One person is speaking at a time, please. But no one answered my question. Okay, as far as that question is kind of open ended. I, I asked uh, for a reason. Right. I understand your question, and that's what we're trying to do here, but it is kind of an open ended so question. What, so, what, what, so do we I mean, I can't give the question answer. So you can't tell yeah. me who's accountable but, uh, for things not happening. Who's accountable? Well, we have, yeah. we have a property manager who oversees the property. So there is a chain of command under name that we have the police. As, I mean, sorry, we have both security manager as well as maintenance manager. So that, that's the way it flows. So I guess my question was to shorten it up. Rabbit mentioned there were things, he was in a meeting months ago. Those things he felt were bypassed, overlooked, shall I say. Who is accountable for those things that have not gotten done? Nobody knows. Is it George, no. management, no. the board? You have a mic? Yes, George, you're there. I actually, every, all three of us. Okay. Okay. Maintenance, 
management and the board. I'll take that. Okay, okay. so that when I come to the board and I say that maintenance is not doing their job and they're not getting things done, I need the board to come to come back with me and go to George and say, George, why aren't you doing this? Okay, so it's it's really it's really everybody. That was my question. Thank you. <laughs> to, to follow up on that, so I've, I've met with I've met with George and I've met with Dan. I've met with both of them. Uh, I, I've been in this job uh, one month today, and I've met three times with them. And, and